Hi everyone, it's Donna here. I'm going to show you what I created with a five day art journal course. Um, I did this with Margie Kemper. I think that's pronounced right. If not, I apologize. Um, but this is the, we did 10 pages and everyone put their own spin on it, which was wonderful to see. And there were so many people in this course and it was all online. Um, so it was all a new experience for me. So I'm going to show you what I created, just so um, I don't want to keep you too long. That's my first page. That's actually the cover of the journal. Um, I'd say a totally different spin to what she did. Um, and I think we all did that, which was great. Um, so the papers I've done here is um, I've inked, uh, I've done a background with lots of things, paints. Um, uh, mainly, it was mainly paints I did and then inking. And then um, here is one ink, uh, one ink, my apologies, one stamp. That's stamped, I ink that. Um, that's a die cut. This is a die cut um, from Tim Holtz Tattered Florals. And I simply cut that out of the same paper so it all falls in together. Um, and then I did um, a quote. Now, I was quite sneakily right through this album. I actually did some washi tape on some pages and I don't know if you can go uh, too close. Yep. Okay. Yeah, Harry Potter, right? Harry Potter. I sneaked it in there. Okay, so that's the first page. The second page was this um, and that's a stamp. I, I don't know what the, where the stamp's from. I've been asked that a hundred times and I'm really not sure. Um, but I've coloured it in twice and um, underneath it's not as good as the top layer but it gives a general gist of it and then I've coloured it in after I've stamped it um, I've just stamped, um, coloured in that with ink did the yellow around to show that off and then I tried to match up some colours here on the corrugated cardboard Yeah, and I've backed all mine in these as well um, there's some different ones there as that one but they're from the same paper family again i'm using up my stash in, in in another way i guess if you could say that um so that's that one um the other one is this in here i did lots of um stenciling so i've got some paste texture paste through right through here it's all textured paste and then up here that's actually there um, and that's stamping and there is stenciling so I've got a bit of stenciling going on as well I stamped her on some paper that I did oh my gosh two years ago maybe yeah stash um, so I did some paper uh, stamped her on some paper that I already had done and then I just coloured the flowers in because I knew this is the colour page that I wanted so I tried to match the page to her flowers believe it or not not the other way around yeah and all these words here are from the Tim Holtz clippings uh, I think this one was small talk uh, this is also Tim Holtz there and a trick that Margie showed us was when you've got these metal bits if you want the words colored put some acrylic paint or something over it and then just dab it off wipe gently and that the paint stays in the actual words that's a great tip I will be using that heaps thanks um so my next page was this they're the only flowers i actually own in my whole room which is i don't know if you'll get sick but this is all my stash plus over there plus over there okay that's my kitchen over there so this was the only flowers I have, and these are Tim Holtz. So I think I'm going to have to invest in some more dyes of the of um, flowers, like some nice big flowers. But I quite like how that worked out. The butterflies are Tim Holtz as well, as well as the words. This paper and the paper here, as I did myself. I think I'm a little bit crooked. I'm going to just straighten you up. Sorry. Um, so I'm going... Uh, these are the papers that I created. So... They were scrap papers, again using up my stash, I guess. Um, the next one is, I know that's really bold, but I really wanted to put the purple and the, and the red together somewhere. And this was, to me, was the ideal way to do it. 
Um, this one I have done a gel print, so this is actual gel print, and this has got lots and lots of texture. I don't know if you could actually see any of that texture on this, probably not, but that is quite thick. It's um, and that was a stencil. Um, again, the words are from Tim Holtz as well, and that's a Tim uh, as some tape I got from up here at the shop. But you can actually have one of them label makers that actually does that same thing. Um, so that's dimensioned. I've actually put that on 3D tape. So it's a dimensional. Yeah, so I like it. So um, The next one I did was this one. So what I did here is I've, I've stamped a white um, ink on here up through there to give that instead of it being so plain black. Um, and then I've tore some book. Um, this is from a Tim Holtz infirmary, infirmary, I think. I think that was from Tim Holtz. Um, I die cut these um, with a punch. Oh, no, I didn't die cut. I punched that out. Sorry. Again, Tim Holtz words. Uh, and this one, Diana Reevely. Is it Reevely? I think that was hers. I think that was hers. And that's just a little bit of that. Um, there is... You get that tape from Tim, uh, that paper from Tim Holtz um, for die cutting. Well, I just use that there. So it's, oh, and then I've just torn, uh, just undid that. Oh, well, that wasn't down pretty well, was it? Anyway, I will fix it up shortly. I'm trouble with some so rough with all my stuff. Backings. Okay, this is another one I did with a tag. I did mine a little bit different to um, Margie. Unfortunately, um, she, she had cogs and everything, which I thought I had, but I didn't have. So I used the butterflies. Now, what I did with the butterflies is I put some crackle paste on it. And then I just inked over it. And I think it will turn out quite well. This is a black piece of paper, which I've painted in different golds and um, blues. Um, it's like a... Actually, they... I'll go and get it for you. I'm sorry. This is going to be so boring for you for just a second. But I'll go and get them because I wanted you to see what they are. Now, that's expensive as hell. Well, I've not found them cheap, to be honest. But that's what they are. Okay. Um, and I've got all different colours. That was the ocean, uh, earth, magic. And what they are, they're watercolour. But they set beautifully on black. Um, they're absolutely gorgeous. That's a fairy tale one. And that's a vintage one. And they're absolutely beautiful. They, um, I wish I could show you that page. There. Well, that's on. This is the black cardstock. So that's that cardstock. Okay. Well, you can paint anything. You can draw your names. You can do anything. They are so gorgeous. But like I said, they are a bit exy. But then again, most things are these days. Um, this one here I did was I stamped this border on separate cardstock. I heat embossed it. I fussy cut it so it's all um, there. I've only stuck it along there. So if I wanted to pop it up, I could. Um, I did lots of stamping on there. I did some stenciling. I used the Distress Inks to blend uh, on that. The butterfly here, the top one is a Tim Holtz um, wings. Um, the bottom one is a metal one. And I brought that off the net yonks ago, so I don't even know where it came from. Um, and I just thought that looked pretty good there. And I put a black bling in the middle just to try to bring the whole thing together. This one here is someone says, yes, which is not spelt right. Oh, it isn't. But this was in the Tim Holtz um, sticker collection of Halloween. Um, and I just liked it. I, I don't care about the spelling, but I just liked it. So um, something wicked this way comes, the witches. And I just, I just adored it. So now this is a washi tape page. Uh, all these pages here, uh, all this here is washi tapes. Now, did you notice I slipped in here, there and there. I've slipped in, yeah, Harry Potter tape, washi tape, yeah. Um, a little bit of washi tape here. I just die cut a spider out to match that. And that's a Tim Holtz um, uh, paper dolls, I think he calls it. So I just liked how that all came together. And my last page is this one. Uh, it was quite... Everybody seems to like this page. This was from 
Stamperia. I didn't realise that because I bought all these stamps off a lady on Facebook. So Stamperia. And apparently you can buy the papers and also the tissue paper to go with it. And I didn't know that. So people say, oh, I love the tissue paper. And I'm saying, what tissue paper? What's going on? And then the lady said, oh, did you know you can buy the tissue paper to actually match all this? And I did not. So it made sense then. Um, but this is done through Distress Inks and lots of stamping, some stenciling um, and some colouring. So I've coloured her face and I've coloured that there with some Distress Inks by just dabbing different colours on it and then spritzing. And um, I didn't colour in her top. I wanted that to be bang out there, white. But this, I coloured her face and her lips and her eyes. And I, I just thought this, and I did some bubbles coming from her mouth because to me it's like a little bit underwatery, steampunkish kind of thing. So that's what I did. I hope you like them. Uh, I tried to keep this under five minutes, but it went double, so my apologies. So that's what I did for the five days. And um, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. And I'll catch you soon.